Hi, everybody. So today we're going to take a look at Desmos computation layer, um, where we want these students to type in a fraction and maybe it's, you know, uh, going on forever. Um, and we can't just type in, it has to be equal to this. So I'm going to show you a way around that. And again, Disclaimer here, I am no expert. I've actually been fumbling around in this for the last few weeks slash months. And um, even if nobody watches these, this is a great way for me to learn it, is feeling that maybe somebody does watch it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is put in a note component that asks the question or poses the problem. So um, I'm actually just going to write the answer is... And I'm going to use math type here, four sevenths. Okay, now I need a spot for them to put their answer. Okay, so whatever it is, maybe it's a slope problem, maybe you're solving an equation, whatever it is, the answer is four sevenths. And right now, this is what it would look like. They would type in four sevenths, and the only feedback you're getting is that they type something in. All right, first thing I want to do is get the feedback for the teacher on whether the student is correct or not. So down here, we're going to name our math input and you name it whatever you want. Just don't forget what it is. I am naming mine answer one, A-N-S one. Then I'm gonna go into the computation layer for that one. And I wanna know if it's correct. Now, if I change four sevenths to a decimal, we get 0 0.57142857, blah, 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 blah. Not helpful. Somewhat helpful. I'm going to go with inequalities here. So I want to know if their answer, so ANS1, if the numeric value is between two numbers. So is it greater than 0 0.57? And is answer 1's numeric value less than 0 0.58. So I have it that it's between those. Now you don't have to go to the hundredths place, whatever works for you there. So now let's try this out. If I preview it and I type in the correct answer, you can see now that the teacher gets the feedback that it's correct and here that it's wrong. Okay. Now what if you want the students to know if they're correct or not. It's the same thing. I'm going to add a note component and I want it to be up here. And what I'm going to do to save myself some time, I'm going to go back down here um, into the, what we just typed in this computation layer and I'm going to copy this. Okay, so now up here in this note component, so just notice that the only thing that's been named is the math component. That's the only thing with the label. I'm actually using the wrong words there. All right, in here, I'm going to call it variable 1a. And that will just be the shortcut for this. So if all of this is true, variable 1a is happening. All right, variable 1b will be our if then statement, our when otherwise statement. So when variable 1a happens, then I want, and this goes in quotation marks because this will be what shows up in my note component. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go with my emojis again. And if you need, um, I don't know if this is correct on the PC, but on the Mac, control, command, space, and you'll get your emojis there. And then I'm going to close the quotation marks. So when it's correct, we get that. Otherwise, if it's not correct, then I want the red X. And I got to tell you, I did this activity um, with my students the other day. Oops, this should be variable 1A here. And I used to have, instead of these emojis, I just had the words yes and no. And that was interesting enough. But yesterday is the first time we did a Desmos activity where it changed to these. 
And there was actually a difference in the way the students were responding to it. They were more engaged. I know it's silly, but it worked. Eh, kind of crazy. All right, now we need to tell uh, the note component what to actually display. So the content whoops, of this note component will say correct. And then um, I want variable 1B to show up. So when it's, you know, correct, it's going to give the check mark, otherwise the X. So dollar sign, curly brackets, variable 1B, close them, and close the quotation marks. And you see all of our error messages have gone away. And now let's check. So correct answer is 4 sevenths, 4 sevenths. There we go. So that's how you can handle those. I hope this video was helpful.